trendsetters, today I'm coming to you from Hastings, Minnesota, established in 1857. Joining me today, Lady Gravel Cyclist herself. Unfortunately, there's no town tour of Hastings. We're on a bit of a time crunch. We've got about oh, 45 miles of riding a shortish route by our standards. But it should be fun regardless. A lot of farmland. And uh, I think an interesting town too that will pass along during the route, or pass through during the route. Let's get cracking. Nothing better than starting off on a climb out of the gate. <laughs> no. Well, here we are. The first super hard packed gravel road of today. And a soy field. To my left, a cornfield. To my right, another cornfield. A lot of farm roads today. This road surface is super hard pack, very similar to what I have in North Central Florida, at least in my part of North Central Florida. Looks like a nice long road, straight as an arrow, with plenty of roller hills. Sometimes you have to enjoy riding arrow straight roads. I've got a good mate of mine. Belgian mate, Lambert. Good day for watching. He loves riding these sorts of roads. So the Lady Rebel Cyclist, aka LGC, I think she's been riding for about 11 months now outdoors, and she's gotten very strong. So I'm happily going to sit her wheel. So many quiet roads around here. Here we go. The gravel gets a bit thicker right here. to ride what's called parade pace you might ask what is parade pace well that's where you ride along obviously you can ride fast slow whatever take photographs but the important thing is to always wave to the locals and your fellow cyclists parade pace i feel like it's also so you can take in the scenery appreciate where you are at the time the one thing I love about Parade Pace is we don't need no stinking badges. There's your badge. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges! Oh no! <laughs> Signs or stickers. Anybody can do it. Oh, there goes a chipmunk across the road. Now we're trundling across hard packed clay. Very diverse. Welcome trendsetters to the bustling metropolis of Meesville, Minnesota. Can you hear anything folks? Maybe in the far, far distance. It's extremely serene, and I don't want to jinx myself. There's not a lot of wind around at the moment. <laughs> wow, look how tall those corn stalks are. It's like a bloody forest. Behold, a beautiful gravel road. A little bit loose in places. At this junction point, super hard packed. How hard packed are you wondering? It's so hard packed, you could probably tap dance. I'm no Fred Astaire or Ginger Rogers. Thank God. <laughs> Did you hear that? She just dissed me. How fing rude.
wee bit of school bus residue ahead. Dust flying all over the bloody place. Well, hello again. This be Trout Brook. And it looks a bit, well, stagnant. Well, a decent little berg to scale. That was a tough little workout, especially towards the end of the climb, got steeper and steeper. And the farmlands around here are not flat. Lots of rollers. And LGC, how would you like that little effort? Sucked. <laughs> you have to admire LGC. It's a lady of few words, but they're very insightful words. Oi! Here we are rolling into a little town whose name I completely forget. Oh yes, this is the small town of Welch, Minnesota. Nice gentle roadie climb away from the small town of Welch. Briefly on Highway 61, heading north momentarily. Back towards the start town of just outside of Hastings. Oi! Back onto some primo gravelly road. obvious this section of the road was paved not too long ago it's very short and here we go it ends again well they should have just left it non-paved I reckon here we go no squawking we're back onto the gravelly road here giddy up hey look at that adopt the road trashy ladies you see that babe today's route is 100% of my own design Mind you, it's pretty easy to design a route around this neck of the woods. There is, well, there are copious amounts of mixed surface gravel, dirt roads, whatever. Hello, here we go, we've got some turkeys, some wild gobblers. Hello, girls. Yeah, we've got about two miles on this long, pretty safe, wide open stretch of pavement. Unfortunately, LGC, I cannot pull gravel roads out of my ass. Could be the final gravel road for today, if memory serves me correctly. Less than five miles, or eight kilometers if you prefer the metric system of measurement there is lady gravel cyclist 
porn for reference, and this isn't even the tall stuff. The tall stuff's around the corner and way behind her. They don't mess around here in the Midwest now, do they? The end of the ride is almost upon us. We're posing our bikes for a couple of bike selfies here on the corner of a uh, gravel road and a soy field. The LGC's having a few problems getting their bike balanced over here. We're into bike selfies. We don't do the people selfies that much. All right, you know, Rot roll. <laughs> Alrighty, trendsetters. That concludes today's ride out of nearby Hastings, established in 1857. LGC, I hope you enjoyed today. A nice little... 70 kilometer ish jaunt here in Minnesota. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel for ride experience videos such as this. No bull Gravel Bike Reviews Factory Tour videos. What else? Other, Other product reviews. Oh, yes. Other product reviews. Other product reviews. And of course, my favorite, General Madness. What the hell are you two doing? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's right. As all of it is released to the channel, I'll see you. I'll definitely see you in the next video.